Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is the last day of March uh, 2021, and we're going to give you all a price prediction into the market for XRP. We're going to talk about our last price prediction and see if we're going to keep it ongoing. Should we keep it on or should we take it off and anticipate the market to go in a totally different direction? So before I break all of that down, if today is your first time ever viewing our content and you appreciate it, do this real quick. Hit the like button share the video and also subscribe to the channel as well tap that bell notification because we're simply here to, to ensure that each and every one of us who is within our community continually wins on a daily basis just by predicting where price is going to go so make sure you continue to follow us join us participate in the comment section as to where you expect these markets to go so that you too can also call the markets with us so it's been about what three days since we did our last Price prediction into the market in XRP. Let me zoom in, and you all can see that we pretty much expected the market to go uh, lower in price. And initially, the last two days after we did that prediction, uh, the market in XRP was able to see some movement higher in price. We saw some restriction around 58 cents, and that's why we're seeing the market currently in XRP down 3.69%. So we really need to talk about: Do we expect the market in XRP to continue to trade sideways? Or are we looking for the market in XRP to continue to break down to the downside like what we talked about on the 28th of March? So let's see this real quick. Um, we're going to change the time frame to see if we have anything different in terms of market movement for XRP. And on this current three day time frame, I'm still seeing weakness here. I mean, we've seen on what the last four three day price bars right here. How the market in XRP has been unsuccessful at breaking price above 60 cents. And we've identified that uh, on our prior videos that that was restriction. And that is definitely showing itself that that is the case, that the market there at 60 cents in XRP is weakness. I mean, we still have what 13 hours and 33 minutes left before this current three day price bar ends, but it is still emphasizing that weakness is there that there's more selling going on around that 60 cent price than what we're seeing in terms of strength so right now based off the three-day time frame the market still looks weak right here on the five-day time frame uh, we have 13 hours and 32 minutes left and we're still seeing a little bit of emphasis that the market in xrp is weak now from a five-day perspective the market doesn't look extremely weak comparative to the volatility that we've seen on the previous five day price bars you know for us to have this very small spread within five days of trading lets us know that either the market is not too eager to move to the downside or just no one is there willing to purchase xrp at those prices so the next follow-up on the five day price bar we can actually see a bigger spread into the market in xrp to the downside okay Now, since we are concluding the month of March today, you guys can see that the month of March was pretty good. I mean, we haven't seen the volume come through in the month of March like we've seen come through in February, January, and even in December of 2020. The volume literally is it fell off when you look at all those months in combination. So are we actually seeing the market in XRP ready to shoot higher in price in the long term or are we still saying that the lack of demand is there due to the lack of volume that came in for the month of March. I want to show you all right here. I want you all to look at that volume for the month of March versus the last four months. So what is really going on into the market in XRP while it's trading up there around 60 cents? April is going to be really important for the market to continue its progressive movement higher in price so that we can pick it back off of what occurred in the month of March. So keep your eyes open for the month of April. It's going to be really important in the long term as to whether or not XRP is going to break 60 cent to the upside or will we go lower and break our ascending trend that we have on going to the market for XRP. Okay. So literally what we're going to do on this particular video, we're going to continue to show you all the expectation that the market weakness is still in play. We're still going to continue 
on with our forecast, we really don't see anything that warrants us to change what our expectations are. The market is just taking taking a little while in the sense of continuing to go to the downside in price. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what we told you our TP area would be. But from what I'm seeing here, it looks like around 52 cents, 51 cents as that initial area of TP to where we'll come in and take off some of the profit. TP simply means to take profit, all right? Um, but overall, seeing how the market in XRP is still showing us weakness, the ultimate area of TP to where we'll take everything off will be around 50 cents, which is about 7.58% market movement to the downside, which is very doable considering that the market in XRP currently is down 4.45%, all right? Um, so generally, I don't see too much going on. I do see, I'm sorry, it, it does seem like the market in XRP is going to try to test this ascending line again. And at that particular moment, whether or not we see the market give us that strength will let us know if we're going to try to break 60 cent to the upside. So that we need to be on the lookout for that. All right. So as we see this market in XRP drop towards this ascending line, right? We need to see what happens while the market comes and hit this line. OK, I'm giving you all the play right now. So as the market in XRP comes down to this line, right there around 50 cents if we see more strength then that's going to be a good outlook for the long term in xrp because it's going to try to continue its movement higher in the long term back towards 60 cents and then eventually try to break it to the upside so that is the step that's the first step that we need to see in the market for xrp is for it to come lower test that 50 cent area test that ascending line that you all see i got circled and from there if we get that strength then we understand that the market is going to try to break 60 cent to the upside in the long term but that's only if and we're not there yet so we're still predicting that the weakness is still in the environment for xrp but once we get to this area then we'll have to come in and reevaluate to see if he is really trying to bring that price in xrp back up and eventually break above 60 cents as of right now we're just going to play the weakness so we're not going to change anything on our last prediction it is still ongoing. We are still anticipating the market and XRP to drop in price. And eventually, like I said, maybe around 51 cents, uh, 50 cents will be the ultimate error that we will TP out the market. And again, we'll come in and look at the market action there to see if we're still getting strength or weakness is continuing to reflect itself. And that's it. Questions, comments, as always, let us know. This is the current breakdown, the current environment. This is what we're predicting into the market for XRP. Now, we want you all to tell us, what do you all see into the market in XRP? Do you see the same thing? Are you seeing something totally different? Where do you expect the market to be in XRP in the next three days? Because we need to beat everyone else in the market so that we can profit and win. Questions, comments, let us know. Uh, make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.